to solve this question, we're going to do a uh, solve the to solve this question, we're going to do a little bit of derivation. The first formula that we're going to need is the resistance in a wire formula, which is R is equal to the resistivity times the length times the cross-sectional area. The next thing we need is the power loss formula. And we take Ohm's law, which is delta V is equal to IR, and we take the power formula, which is I times delta V, and we make a substitution for delta V and we get that the power loss is equal to I squared R. The next thing we'll do is we'll take that resistance found in the first formula and make a substitution in, into the resistance in the power loss formula, resulting in P is equal to I squared times rho times L over A. So once again, the cross-sectional area will be pi R squared because this cable is assuming it's like a perfect cylinder, so to speak. So we'll make that substitution here. So we'll get that P is equal to I squared times the resistivity times the length over pi R squared. So now we'll cross multiply and we'll solve for R. Now we'll make one more modification to this, to this equation right here. And that is we're going to divide by L in the numerator and the denominator. This, is, this allows us to write the formula as such. The reason we're doing this is in the question, we were told that there's a power loss of 2 watts per meter. Well, by dividing by L, we get power, which is the watt, divided by L, which is the meter, we get watt per meter. So now we can go ahead and plug in the given information here. And when we solve that, we get that the radius should be 0 0.016 meters.